Hi guys. Okay, so I have a project for you guys for the next couple weeks or so. Um, but I'm going to show you what the end product is. And the, so some of you guys might remember this. We did this in Recycled Arts uh, maybe a couple years ago. We did an I Spy in the display case where we all had our own little projects and then we wrote a list next to it that said I Spy and had all the different things that we put in our projects so you had to look for them. So like, I'll show you an example. So I'll show you two examples. These are the ones that I did. So in this example, this is what you this is what you would make is just one of these. And then um, if we ever get to come back, we might be able to bring them back and actually put them all together. Um, so in here are all different things, but they don't really look like the things that they are sometimes. So you might be able to tell what they are, but sometimes you don't. Um, so like in the I spy list, you might have listed something like two pine cones because in this one there are two pine cones. Okay. This is one of those, um, some of you guys might recognize this, it's one of those, uh, the thing that ink cartridges come in for the printer. You guys probably can't even tell, but back here is a magazine. This right here is a magazine, and it's folded sideways, so it would, nor would normally open the other way. This is a Slurpee lid from 7-Eleven. Here is um, a stick. This is some kind of, I don't remember what that thing is, but we found it. Anyway. Let me show you another. Oh, here's toilet paper rolls. So one thing while you're looking at this, I want you guys to think about um, how you can take regular objects and especially recycled materials and things that you find um, and make them look different because right now this looks like they're kind of like pillars, but they're actually just toilet paper rolls. Okay, so I want you to think about how you can make it look different than what it is. I'll show you one more example. Oops, that thing came off. My tape came off. The this is a tape roll right here. See that? This is um, cookie cutters. This right here, if you guys remember, did anyone make the um, these flower things we did for one display? This is a flower made out of a paper plate. Uh, a tissue box, and look, the tissue's even colored. See that? And a paint palette back here. Um, and if you look really close, I don't know if you guys can see, there's paper clips that are dangling right there. Okay. Oh, and this is even... Um, what's that called? The popping stuff, the bubbles, <laughs> bubble wrap. Okay, so all your project is for this week is to start collecting items, okay? And that might take you some time, but let me just give you some ideas. So you can start collecting recycled items for sure. So um, think about things like any kind of uh, containers that food comes in, so there's like um, milk jugs and there are um, egg cartons and any kind of um, you know like this something like this so start collecting things that you're normally just throwing away like lids anything that you would normally throw away in the garbage um, especially stuff that you would normally recycle like plastics and tin and all that so start collecting those the other some of the other things you can do are um, when we did it with my recycled arts class before, we actually went to a park and did a, a garbage pickup. Now that's up to you and your parents if you want to do that, but if you went to, um, to try to do some good in the environment, if you went out and picked up some garbage and decided which things were um, things that you could actually use in your project and wash them off so you can use them. Um, and you can also do it through your toy rooms. If you guys have toy rooms, go through your toy rooms and see if there's broken toys or toys that just nobody uses anymore. Make sure you ask your parents if you can actually use them um, because you'll be putting them, gluing them, and spray painting them into a project and you won't be using them again as toys. Um, but go try to find something that you guys don't ever use anymore or even in your craft closet. Um, you can, it'll be, help your parents with spring cleaning. You guys can say, what things are we getting rid of? You guys could find socks. Okay, there's lots of different things you guys could find. But I want you guys to start putting that in your brain. Start trying to look for things that normally you'd either throw away or you're not using anymore um, that could look cool in an art project like that. And I'm gonna link a video. Um, this project was based around a woman named Louise Nevelson. Um, she's an artist and I'm gonna link her stuff. She didn't do recycled materials, she did wood. She used wood in hers. Um, and you guys can watch the video and see that. But we're, we're kind of basing it on her art, but we're doing it in our own way with recycled materials. So, like I said, your project this week is just to collect materials. Look around the house, look around outside in your backyard, look around your toy room, wherever. 
um, and see what kind of interesting things you guys can find. And you're gonna have to use your art brain to kind of look at things a little bit differently because um, a pencil might not look interesting to you, but it might look interesting once it's in a display like that. So you've gotta start seeing things a little bit differently. Okay, that's your project for this week.